quick tutorial for using a guiding program with the Enhanced Clone of the Mead 909 APM. The Enhanced 909 provides a native USB interface, and this video will show how the ASCOM driver supporting that interface works with the guiding program. Please note that a different firmware load on the Enhanced 909 turns it into an ST4 out capable device for direct interface to any scope with an ST4 input port. The same ASCOM driver supports both. First, take a look at uh, PHD. We're going to select the mount type in PHD, and he's going to be an ASCOM type. We're going to collect to the connect to the telescope. So we're going to come down here, connect the telescope, and in the ASCOM chooser, you can see many, many different types of telescopes. The one we're interested in is as this driver installs it. It's known as the scope for 909 guide. Okay. We can take a look at the properties page for that and configure the COM port that we want to use to talk to the USB interface on the 909. In my case, I have the COM2 specified. Uh, the FTDI driver that comes with the USB cable with the Enhanced 909 will let you choose COM port uh, selections and then that's the one you want to pick here. For now, we'll just say OK. Okay, so now we're going to do OK. It's going to connect to the driver. The driver pops open its own little window. And we're going to place him over here. This is known as the ASCOM hand box for the telescope driver. So, looking at the setup screen for the ASCOM hand box, we can see we can set the interface capabilities. Um, the AutoStar 497 takes input every 100 milliseconds across the aux bus. Uh, uh, assertion of a pin of the ST4 interface of the 909 for 100 milliseconds causes a value of 200 to be sent up the aux bus. So we're, the default guide multiplier here is 2. So if ASCOM tells it 100 milliseconds, the driver multiplies it by 2, sends it down to the device, and then up the interface it goes as a, as a 200. So again, we have the COM2 port selected already out of the 16 COM ports that are available for selection. It's the one that goes with the FTDI, as I said before. We're also going to enable the animation of the guide LEDs. Uh, you'll see what that does in a minute or two. Now, if I don't click OK, but hit cancel or close the window, everything will be lost. Any changes made will disappear. So we're going to say OK. Um, so now we come down here in PHD, we're going to select the telescope type, or I'm sorry, the camera type. And for this purpose, we're going to just use the simulator and just something to uh, pop up on the screen. Um, okay, so we've got the simulator camera selected, the ASCOM driver for the scope for 909 guide selected, and then we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to manual guide. <clears throat> okay, so now if I press a button here, north, south, east, and west, there'll be little LEDs that are lit over here to showing what uh, direction was commanded to the driver. So if I hit a north, we can see the green LED pop on the north. If we hit the south, south LED, and then we have the east LED and the west LED. Now, how long these manual outputs assert down the ASCOM interface are controlled by the brain function of PHD and down in there it's currently set to a thousand milliseconds. The calibration step is the same thing used for manual guiding. So if I set that down to a hundred milliseconds it was currently set to a thousand milliseconds a full second and then we'll do a done here. Okay now if I press it you should see just a little flash on the LED. South, east, West, North, South, East, West. Okay, so these are going down across the ASCOM interface into the device driver and then out across the AUGS bus or out the ST4 port. So now let's take a look to see what PHD is actually asking the system to do. I can view the ASCOM traffic that's flowing across the bus with the traffic screen. If we hit the the traffic button, we end up with a screen that 
can now show us exactly what PhD is asking the driver. So he came through and I hit the north button. He came through, asked, are you pulse guiding? I said, no. Are you slewing? I said, no. So and then he came down with pulse guide, go north, 100 milliseconds. And then he asked again. And then we have a south. And we have an east. Okay. Now, for all practical purposes, the display of the traffic for ASCOM and the flashing of these LEDs all impact the performance of the guiding program because they're gonna they're gonna get in the way. If it says 10 milliseconds, we don't really know how long Windows is gonna take by the time it draws visuals inside of a window and then flashes some LEDs from the Visual Basic 6 program this driver's written in. So for real life scenarios, what you wanna do is keep that closed, go back over to the setup screen, okay, and turn off the animation of the LEDs and then say, okay, again, our, your choices will be lost. So now when I hit North, no LEDs flashing, no nothing. Okay, now these buttons on the handbox screen also let you control the telescope mount directly through the uh, driver. So if I go back over to setup and animate the LED screens again, okay, and enable the traffic view again, every time I press one of these buttons for as long as I hold it, every second it'll send four commands down the driver uh, interface to the 909 and each four times a second it'll tell it to go 100 milliseconds worth so if I hold it down you can see the LED flashing and you can see the pulse guide north so four times a second uh, it's told to move 100 milliseconds worth so 400 milliseconds worth worth of movement and then there's south and then there's east, and then there's west. So, again, all the flashing lights and visual displays are great for testing, great to see what's happening, but just get in the way when you're down to some serious guiding. So we'll close this screen, and we'll turn this back off again, and we'll bring this up here, and we'll bring PhD back up. And at this time, when I close PHD, it's going to take down the driver it just started. So everything disappeared. Thank you very much. That's all there is to this one.